And welcome to the University of Nottingham for the 2022 Bucks Badminton Final in association with Ashaway. This is the men's championship final and this is Big Bucks Wednesday powered by New Balance. Today we will be seeing the contest between the University of Nottingham men's first team and the University of Loughborough men's first team. These two teams are notorious rivals. And they're both coming into this having already played in the books. And the score last time was 5-3. Nottingham did take that win, <clears throat> giving up only one singles and two doubles. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens this time, especially considering that we have some new pairings. So there's been a bit of a mix-up with the... Well, bit of a change-up in the team with Harry Huang and Sam Smith playing together in box for the first time as a doubles pair. So it's going to be interesting to see whether how this pairing turns out in terms of the results and to see whether Nottingham can still take the win or whether Loughborough are going to pull back because for sure they're going to really want this one after losing in the box league matches. Yes, there's a, there's a great rivalry between these two universities. Uh, they've both been at the top of Bucks Badminton for sem several years and our first match here on court one we have Johnny Torgerson of the University of Nottingham who recently won the Bucks individual championships not to mention the fact that he is the current English national badminton champion in men's singles. And his opponent.
So a quick overview of the Loughborough men's badminton team. Uh, the men's badminton team finished second in the Bucks League to their opposition of today's championship final, the University of Nottingham. The team has faced COVID and injury challenges throughout the season, but still managed to put themselves into a position at the top end of the league. Ultimately, it came down to the head-to-head -head matches with Nottingham, which they narrowly lost 5-3 home and away. A decent league season, considering that three freshers are in the team and they can only get stronger. The team are coming into the final off of a comprehensive away semi-final win at Bath, where they won 7-1. So they're feeling confident going into this final. So we're underway here on court number one. Do have do now have some information about the love for player. Is <laughs> um, Jack Taylor? He was junior na junior national team player, and having just confirmed. This was the, the face-off in the Bucks individuals, so Johnny did get the win there in the Bucks individuals against Jack Taylor. So Jack's definitely going to be back here looking for revenge against Johnny Turgeson. So it's going to be a tight one. It's going to be a tough one. But it's going to be definitely a good one to watch. It will be interesting to see how Taylor manages the lethal attack of Johnny Turgeson. He's so Taylor will have to be very careful uh, about where he lifts, make sure he gets good length on all of his shots. Just a few uncharacteristic errors at the start of this opening game from Johnny. Well, the shuttle there catching the tape, which caught Johnny off guard, but he still managed to come through and put that one on the floor. If we had cameras on the opposite side of the court, we'd definitely seen Johnny's face there. He looks aggressive when he comes running into the net. That's something that I've seen I've been on the other end of, and it's not nice. It's pretty intimidating. It's not just about losing that one point when you lose a point like that against Johnny especially on his smashes and his neck cruises. It's, it's really aggressive and can be quite intimidating. Oh, and he, he's quite fortunate there with the shuttle catching the tape. We've seen quite a lot of that already today. Loughborough University, of course, already off to a fantastic start in their badminton campaign today with their women's team winning the championship title. How many shows do you reckon we're going to get through today, Sean? I think there was a, a record in the books individuals, wasn't there? Was Johnny it really? Went, I think it was 20-something. <laughs> they went through one, two tubes, I think. What, in one match? Yeah. That's insane. These lifts aren't going to the back, but Taylor isn't managing to put them on the floor against Johnny, which is not what I would have expected for that kind of lift, and it's not a lift I'd expect from Johnny either. Well... You see, not, not only does Johnny have the advantage of his experience playing at an international level uh, for some years now, 
but of course we are here at the University of Nottingham at David Ross Sports Village which is where Johnny Torgerson trains at the University of Nottingham so he's used to the conditions in this hall and something that we noted earlier is this hall is That's notoriously slow that's excellent attack and play there from Taylor. So yeah, the, the, the speed of the hall does make it a challenge getting good length. On court two, we currently have C.G. Wei of the University of Nottingham playing Harry Wang of Loughborough. And Johnny there taking an 11-7 lead going into the mid-game interval. Dax, what do you think Taylor needs to do? to How, how can he try and cope with the the attack from Torgerson. Well, I think it's really what you mentioned earlier about watching the lifts and when he I wouldn't be lifting that much against Johnny because Johnny's so fast moving to the back and he has a massive jump on it and he's gonna send that sort of straight back down. So if I was Taylor, I can't believe I'm about to give a suggestion to Taylor, but I would be holding the net a little bit a little bit more and really watching that and sparing the lifts but when you go in for that lift really making sure that's gonna be a good one and being ready for it to come back down fast. But I think I'll try holding the net a bit more. Yeah. I wish there was a, another TV on the second court. It's just in CG jumping, diving, two dives in a row and winning the rally. It's definitely a full day of exciting games. It's a, certainly a a great deal of elite badminton to be to be watched and off to my right I can see Harry Huang of the University of Nottingham looking very excited ready for his upcoming game this is a big rally and the big jump out from Torgerson down the line, catches the line and it's that accuracy that's going to make this a very very tall order for, for Taylor wouldn't you say I don't think Taylor can afford mistakes like that, I know it's tough but he's got to really keep it keep it under control otherwise Johnny's just going to take the lead before he even knows it absolutely the trouble is that when you're under that much pressure I think in Taylor's position he's forced into trying perhaps even sometimes trying audacious shots because what else can he do I don't know what you can do against Johnny if I'm honest Oh, and that one just not quite going over. Quite a few smashes in the net, actually, so far. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what's going on there for Johnny. That's, that's a tough one. That's a good attack. He, Taylor had the opportunity, and he took it straight away, and he has to do that. And every slight chance he has, he has to go for it. If he doesn't, then Johnny's not going to give him another chance in that rally. Yeah, yeah, it's excellent pressure on the net. So now 16-10 and Torgerson pulling That's away. A That's a really, really good follow-up from Taylor. 
great speed coming in on the net. And that's what you have to do to win points against Johnny. You can probably hear from wherever you're watching that the atmosphere here is electric. There's a great deal of support for both sides. That's a huge attack. Oh, and that's so fast coming in on the net there. He just reads the game so well. And again, the quality of the net shot. It's a really good net shot from Taylor. Good smash down the line. This is turning into a very important rally. Well, Johnny Torgerson takes the opening game, 21-11. Do you think that Taylor will take some encouragement from some of the last few points there? He, he managed to win some some good rallies. I think. I think when he was holding the net with those really tight net shots and forcing Johnny to lift back out, I think that's when he was getting some advantage. And it'd be, but it would be after losing 21-11, it would be really interesting to know what exactly his coach is telling him now because that was definitely a tough game. But I do think you're right; those few points that he's getting, they're, they're going to give him some encouragement and some confidence that he might still have a chance in the second game. But it's it's definitely going to be tough. And CG's just come off court now. He's talking to he's talking to Sam Smith, the doubles player. And here we've got legendary coach Martin Lewis at the University of Nottingham giving Torgerson some advice. Although I'm not sure what you tell someone that just won 21-11 other than keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> So, Torgerson to get this second game underway. And that's a that's big a reverse shot. from Torgerson. Continues carrying the momentum then. That's, That's really good anticipation. But I think that's really where Taylor's going to look for those points at the net. You've seen in the first game, that's where he won quite a few. I don't think he's... I think that's where he's going to be looking for those points. That one just drifting wide. And Taylor takes the lead for the moment in this set. Just seen that Sudia has won the first game on court two, 21-13. So that's another big win in the first set for his match. So both of these singles are looking good for Nottingham, but by far, definitely not a foregone conclusion yet. Yeah, there's a lot of badminton still to be played, and 
particularly on court two at the moment. That game could go either way. At the moment, this is looking like quite a tall order for Jack Taylor here on court number one. It's a good angle on the smash. That's Johnny going in for the attack. That's, that's impressive. It's a big attack. You see how Johnny waits for the right moment to attack. Everyone always talks about how he's strong, he's powerful, he does have a big smash, but he's not smashing everything that goes up in the air. He, he's waiting for the right opportunity. You see that perfectly in that point, and it's, it's really impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Something that we were discussing earlier was the way that these elite players are able to just stay calm and level-headed under pressure. You never, you never see them panic. Oh, and that's it's a bit unfortunate. Long. And you can see that he's frustrated with himself there. Seemingly trying to bring the net to a lower level. <laughs> that would make the game a little bit easier, wouldn't it? Especially on that last one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> But it is still, Johnny is still pulling away again, even earlier this time, so yeah, it's, it's uh, going to be difficult. It's a very comfortable lead at the moment. It's difficult to see what, what Taylor can do. That's short, yeah. When Johnny's you're dealing with an attack it. like that. It is, it's about the length, isn't it, really? It's a very, very good net shot. I have to say, Taylor does seem pretty good at following up on his attacks. Whenever he sends it faster, boy. Ooh. That's impressive. <laughs> well, the indecision there costing Taylor, and that gives Johnny Torgerson and the University of Nottingham an 11-4 lead at the mid-game interval. So what I was just getting to with it then was I feel Taylor's pretty good at following up on his attacks. Whenever he decides to attack from the back, he definitely is trying to read where it's going to come back. And that's difficult with Johnny because he's a bit of a joke. He always hits cross <laughs> much more than he hits straight, which is exciting and it's interesting, but Taylor's trying to read that and read those blocks and then he's forcing his way in and that's been difficult for Johnny to deal with and I think that might be something his coach is telling him now because he is doing it quite well Sidia on court two still taking some big points but it's still a tight game over there 8-7 if my eyes are seeing the scoreboard correctly I think you're right, Dax. I think it's 7-8 with Nottingham having taken the first set. And Sidia might still have in mind he did drop one singles last time, so he's definitely going to be really on it this time to try and bring a, a win for the team, for himself and for the team. Yeah. So Torgerson <laughs> continuing with the momentum after the, the mid-game interval. If you're just tuning in now, this is the men's championship final in association with Ashaway here at Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. It really is just non-stop attack here from Torgerson. There's 
very little that Taylor is able to do to neutralize that attack. That's a really, really good net shot. Somehow he's got it back. Oh, and a net cord. And finally, that, so that's what it takes. It takes two net cords and a kill. That's, and that is maybe impressive. you can get a point against Johnny Torgerson. Johnny is still dominating, though, I have to say, without trying, without sounding too negative. I don't see how Taylor can pull back after this from 16-5 down. It's a bit of a tall order, isn't it? But stranger things have happened at sea. Still only a point separating the two players over there on court two. That's right, 10-9 to Loughborough at the moment. Much closer than the first game, which Sidia won 21-13. Oh, and uh, an uncharacteristic error there from Torgerson. So now Torgerson with match point. And there it is. A lovely little drop shot to finish that second game. And Torgerson takes the second set 21-6, putting the University of Nottingham one match up in this tie here at the Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. So next up on court one we will have the men's doubles and it's a new pairing here for the University of Nottingham. We've got Harry Huang who normally is a single specialist playing alongside Sam Smith who won the Bucks individuals men's doubles title alongside Johnny Torgerson uh, in February. That's right, but they have been training hard together and I think it's going to be a pretty impressive doubles game from them because they've been working together really hard to prepare for, prepare for this. And I think it might be a little bit difficult for the Loughborough player to deal with, but I have to confess I'm not that familiar with these two Loughborough players. Yeah, their opponents, Nathan Moore won the under-19 national men's doubles uh, title with Alex Green in December. And he was also a runner-up in the mixed. He's an England junior international and program player with a national ranking of 26 in men's doubles and 20 in mixed doubles. So certainly a great deal of experience and ability there. And while the doubles pairs are warming up, you can catch a glimpse of what's happening on court two. Another big singles. We've been not quite sure what the discussion is at the moment. There seems to be some, some pause, but the score is tight. It's 13-12 to 13 all. It's just been changed, 13 all. So Suja's has taken that point over after whatever that discussion was. 
much tighter than the first game. Sergio really dominated in the first game. You guys couldn't see, but he was being aggressive, finding the gaps and putting it straight on the floor in those gaps. And it was really quite a domination, I have to say, but this is a totally different game. It's neck and neck. see one thing I must remark about CJ is he's, he's incredibly fast you see this guy in training and it's unbelievable his feet move must be twice the speed of mine so it's quite difficult to outpace him and he's got a pretty strong attack so <laughs> it's another one where I'm not sure where the points are going to come from but he does tend to get pretty angry with himself if he has a little burst of mistakes so if he stays calm-headed and controlled he can really dominate a game, and it's difficult to find any weakness of his in, his, in that case when he's under control. So, a really nice view actually of the setup we've got here at David Ross Sports Village in Nottingham. And you can see in the distance there the women's trophy final taking place. That's right, it's Warwick playing Oxford against Oxford, that's right. Warwick have had a, a good turnout in this tournament, having having been in the having been in the men's trophy match as well. Um, so they've been doing pretty well this season to bring this season to bring two teams over to the Big Box Wednesday. Although that was quite a thriller, probably a little bit disappointing for Warwick. It was four all against Nottingham, and Nottingham just scraped away with the victory by five points, which is less than a point per game in a total of eight matches. But it, it's a testament to how tight it is at, at the top end That's of, exactly of University right. Badminton. The, the, the calibre is outstanding, but you know the, the, the various universities are, are, are a really good match for each other. That's right. That's right. That's exactly right. Which makes it more interesting. In, in the past, different universities have dominated. Several years ago, Loughborough University were untouchable. So this men's doubles match is about to get underway. Going into this match, uh, when Sam Smith was asked uh, about how he felt going into Big Bucks Wednesday, he said that the club has come together to support all of our teams and we're all proud to be part of the University of Nottingham. And I think that, that sums up the, the way that the team are, that you know, they're a real unit. This is incredible rally. And there, Harry Huang with the big smash manages to break through the brick wall of a defence from the Luff repair. I think we're going to see a lot of these fast flat exchanges.
Well, we've just witnessed the most unbelievable rally on court two. Meanwhile, Loughborough just edging ahead in the opening points of this game. And uh, Smith leaving that lift as it just drifts out the back of the court. Just the error there on, on the smash. All of these players are quite familiar with each other playing on the national circuit. Together. That's an unlucky that's an unlucky error there because Sam's fantastic at finding small gaps on the court that if I'm honest I don't even see exist until he hits the shuttle in them. And that's the kind of place he's gonna find some really big points. Still very little separating either of these pairs as we get more deeply into the game. And on court two, only a point separating the men's singles players. And CG Wei takes the second game and wins the match on court two. 23-21. You have to credit Harry Wang for the effort that he put in there. A former Bucks national champion, now studying a PhD. So he has less time to train, but what an effort he put in there. Especially I mean, in that last wave. I don't know if you saw that. He was that on the dive floor halfway off the court. Yeah. You have to you have to credit that. Meanwhile. Loughborough with the slight lead in this game. And, and this, is, this, is, the, now, uh, this has now become very, very important for Loughborough, this match, because they're now two rubbers down. That's right. And they did take two doubles matches in their last encounter with Nottingham. So they're going to be looking to do the same again. So these doubles are extremely important, and I think that's why this new pairing with Harry and Sam is especially important as well for Nottingham because they're not going to try to win 5-3 again Nottingham as they have done for the most of the season winning 8-0 they're going to be going for every single match they're not going to be sacrificing anything absolutely An unusual error there from Sam Smith Smith is notoriously consistent Another big rally there, but Nathan Moore with the unforced error. I say unforced, the pressure that he must be under to keep the quality of his shots at the absolute maximum, because anything that's loose gets punished, doesn't it? So is there really even such a thing as an unforced error at I'm this not level? Sure. But I don't think he should be hitting those. He's going to be beating himself for hitting up those kind of smashes because from our side view, the lift wasn't that deep. And I think he'd be looking to try and put Sam and Harry under some pressure. And if he can't do that off a lift like that, then he's, he's going to struggle to, to, to keep up the attack, even on the next shot if that one hadn't gone in the net. Yeah. So a 10-9 lead for Loughborough and they'll be dying to, to have a lead going into the mid-game interval that's right it's, it's going to give them some confidence that they need but Sam and Harry aren't going to let them do it easily 
and are on court two, just deciding who serves in the next round of doubles. Dave and Perry play together a lot in training and in matches. So in fact, it is Nottingham that take the slightest of leads at the mid-game interval. 11-10, almost nothing to separate these two. Martin Lewis there, coach at the University of Nottingham, Welsh national champion more times than I have fingers. And he's, he's really, I'd almost say he's like a little dad of the, not little, but he's like a dad of the badminton club and team here. And he really looks, at, he really looks after the players, so it's really good having him on court. He's, a, he's there at every match that, you need, that he can be. And he's always there to support the team. It's an incredible defense from the Nottingham players, but just wasn't enough then against that the relentless attack from Loughborough. Yeah, think, it's think, coming down so fast. They're so good at killing it off. And I think that's what Loughborough is going to have to try and do. I feel as if they're going to be trying to play more aggressively and push forward with their attack because that's how they got a few points in the first half. So. I feel as though that's how they're going to try to be doing, try to be playing in this in this second half. At least it half seemed like that from the their coaches' yeah. hand actions <laughs> when um, giving them some comments during that Port Small interval. Mm. The Sam and Harry are excellent adapting, so regardless of strategy. We're good at working together to adapt and try to take the advantage in any situation. It's interesting to me that so many of these rallies are so fast and flat when this venue is, is such a slow haul. Right. But that's the, we just saw there that on that cross. That's the gap that Sam's always trying to look for, to open up an opportunity to attack, to attack that cross drop there. That's a good, that's good reaction. Sam's not going to be happy with that. It's an outstanding smash. That's good cover by Harry. So Nottingham opening up a two-point advantage at a crucial point in the game. I think this is a big point. There's a huge difference between 16-13 and 15-14, especially an at this late stage of the game. Excellent change of pace there from, from Hong. And I think we're seeing that here where they're, they're really trying to keep the pressure up and be more aggressive and proactive in, the, in these rallies and, they get, and they're, they're being rewarded by it. And Sam in that corner, he's pushed the shuttle into that corner several times throughout this game. Same corner. Another fast flat exchange. Going in favour there of Nottingham. 17 15. Four points away now from taking this opening game. Loughborough by no means out of this.
And again, just the pressure on the body that Nathan Moore just seems to be struggling with a little bit. This, I have, I keep saying it, but this corner of the court seems to be proving it's a little bit of a weak spot for the Loughborough squad. If they're getting it back, they're not hitting, they're, they're being forced to lift, and a few winners have come into that spot, and I think the Nottingham guys know that. Yeah, and it's amazing how how quickly the, the momentum shifts, because just moments ago it was 15 all. And now, and it's now match point. Nottingham with, well, there you go. The first game as that lands in. And Nottingham leading one game to nil. What would you be saying to to the Loughborough boys if you were the coach right now? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm trying to listen to his <laughs> Martin standing right in front of us. he's got to tell them to watch out for that attack that the Love Prepare keep following up on because they're playing a bit more aggressively at least as far as I could see anyway in that second half but I think 21-15 it's not exactly a close game although the points were well fought out Nottingham did seem to take the advantage in a six point lead in the first game it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty big and I think they're just going to I think it, it, it's the way that they did it because there was nothing in it. It was, it was literally 15 all. And I don't know if it was a lapse in concentration or... Well, I think they had they forced several lifts out of the same um, left corner of the, uh, of the drops, cross drops, stop drops. They forced several lifts out like that and switched on to the attack almost immediately after forcing a lift if, that is, the love prepare managed to get that corner back. So... Yeah, I think that's how the last six points went. See, that's the that's the kind of attack opportunity that Loughborough are trying to create and looking for and have been handling not too badly but if they make an error on that attack that's their main opportunity main chance to get the points and I think they're going to struggle if they make errors like that in those those kinds of rallies yeah yeah and then the service return there into the net they've got to get oh. into the rallies that's 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 just very lucky that's very it's very tight net Just to give you an idea of the pedigree of these players, Harry Huang was the winner of the Danish Junior Cup, winner of the under-17 Six Nations, and has four national caps at senior level. Although I believe... That is all in the discipline of singles. That is a good point. I think it is. <laughs> but you wouldn't, you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know it, no. And one thing I love about Harry, and you've just seen it there, is he has an incredible stop drop. He, he, just, he's, he forces on an aggressive attack, and you can't help but be wary that he's going to smash it, and you get into a defensive position, but... He manages to, dis manages to dis disguise his stop drop incredibly well. This is a big point. Ah, and Loughborough takes that. Really, this is really the kind of attack, attack they need to be able to hold up. If they can keep up this kind of attack, they're, gonna get, they're going to get these points. This is their points-making strategy, I'd say, in yeah. this game. Yeah, and this is a good recovery. After going 5-1 down at the start of the second game, it's important now for the Love Prepare to keep their heads in the game, stay focused. 
That's big defense. It's hard to describe if you're not here in person just how hard Harry Huang and Sam Smith hit the shuttle. That's right. They, the they, height they managed to get, the, the steepness they managed to get from the height of their jumps, yeah. it almost looks as if they're going to take off. Those few errors that were popping out of the uh, Nottingham duo at the beginning of the first match, they almost seem to have completely disappeared. And I think in that, in that, because of that, Loughborough can't afford to make errors if they want to maintain, if they yeah. want to build and maintain a lead. There's another change of shuttle there. It's incredible defense of Harry Smash there, but not enough. And you see again the opportunity created by Sam Smith finding that gap and forcing them to lift back out with a weak lift. Just an update on court two, where the second doubles has already started and is now at the interval. It looks as though Nottingham has taken the lead 11-9, so it's pretty tight at the change event at the uh, at the interval. Sorry. So they're going into this interval here with a slightly bigger lead compared to the second game. And it looks as though they're going to just try and maintain it. And I think it seems like Martin's trying to tell them to keep on the pressure and, again, look for the opportunity, create the opportunity to attack. Martin Lewis there seemingly somehow managing to coach two matches at the same time. That's right. Although Just another the testament help of, to his uh, genius. Yes. <laughs> we, 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 had the, we had the help of Neil White, the University of Nottingham Badminton Performance Squad's other coach, uh, in the morning, who was helping primarily with the singles, as he's a single specialist coach, helping out in the Nottingham against uh, Warwick match, Nottingham twos against Warwick, uh, I think firsts or seconds. Speaking of coaches, Nottingham is bringing in a bit of a superstar in April with Chris Adcock joining the coaching team. That's a good attack from Sam Smith there, taking it early, taking it in front of him. Yeah, they've really taken the momentum now, haven't they? The Nottingham player. I think so. They, they seem to be pulling away, but again, Loughborough aren't going to give it to them easily. No, you're, you're absolutely right. But that's that's exactly the kind of attack that Loughborough needs to start, which they did, but they need to be able to maintain it. That, and that's what I said uh, in the last game. They need, if they can hold that attack, they're going to be getting some points. But if not, they're going to struggle to find points in any other place. Well, it, it's, it's looking slightly ominous now for Loughborough. That flick was, was short. I don't think it made it past halfway before Sam took it. It's, it's impressive reactions from Smart, Sam Smith. -Rick.
straight into the gap. He just reads the space so well. Very, very well. Yep, that's right. That's well played, though. I recently played a game of doubles against Harry Huang and Johnny Torgerson. And sounds scary. <laughs> well, the pressure that you feel playing guys of this caliber, it forces mistakes without even necessarily being, you know, receiving a smash or anything like that. Just because you feel like you have to do something out of the ordinary or else it will be punished. So 10-16. Loughborough certainly not out of this yet. And the channeled attack there. Harry Huang using his height to cut out the retrieval of the smash. I think it's going to be... It's looking less and more and more difficult for, for Loughborough now. They're not able to, to turn... I was about to say they're not able to switch on the attack. So just as uh, more pounced on the serve. serve. Brilliant. You can't... You, he, he couldn't have placed it better if he'd walked over there and put it down on the floor. <laughs> that's, that's Sam's placement in these corners again. Just feels to me that the, the Loughborough men yeah there it is 21-11 in the second game and, and what started out as looking like a, a really close match ended up being relatively comfortable I think that's that's right. It did start off pretty close, but Sam and Harry have just have dominated. And I think this partnership is definitely going to go a long way uh, into the next season, even after this today's tournament, because it does seem to be working well together. They they're, they're just they're having a discussion now. It's another one in which I'd love to have an ear on to hear what they're saying. But I think both players are going to be very satisfied with today's performance in this first match. But they have got another match coming up against the second pair who are currently uh, playing Dave and Perry who are definitely not a new partnership having played together in the Bucks individuals and getting I think it was silver is that right uh, silver to Sam and Johnny I, th I think it was bronze I think, was it bronze I think they, they were definitely I they definitely had some metal around their neck that I remember they, yeah <laughs> I think they won bronze I think it was uh, with Sam and Johnny in first with gold, Dave and Perry with bronze, and you can you can see that game happening now on on court two. Score looks that 19 all. Very very close. Looks like 19, 19 all. 18. Or 19 or 1918. Should I'm have brought my sure. glasses. I'm not sure. That's a big smash. That's that's impressive attack there. So Loughborough leading 2018 on court two. And, and you have to say they really, really need that win at this point. Yep, they are because currently 3 three down. Three rubbers down. And there are eight games. As we have two men's singles and two men's doubles pairs. It's 2019. Dave and Perry aren't going to let this one go. We had a fantastic doubles earlier in the day when Nottingham brought back from 2017, brought it to a win at 22-20. And I think that match is definitely going to give the Nottingham team some energy for these game points. And they've brought it to 20 all. This seems to be a little bit of a theme for Nottingham doubles games today. <laughs> saving multiple game points and taking it to its setting. So this is it's really tense in the hall right now. 
Nottingham, of course, with the home advantage. I mean, you can see the turnout in the stands on the right of the screen. That's a massive smash from Perry. It's 21-20. I think they're going to be... So, up next on court number one, we have Johnny Torgerson again, and he will be facing Harry Wang of Loughborough. Harry Wang is no stranger to silverware, having won the Bucks National Championships in the past. So if you're just tuning in, welcome this afternoon to the University of Nottingham for the 2022 Bucks Badminton Final. This is the Men's Championship Final in association with Ashaway here at Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. Here we've got Johnny Torgerson of the University of Nottingham and his opponent, Harry Wang of Loughborough University. That's right, and Johnny's going into this after winning his first singles fairly comfortably, it has to be said, but Johnny's not one to become complacent and he'll be looking to go full on in this singles and Harry will be looking to try and take something away from Johnny Turdison. It will be tough, but he has a chance. He's been playing very strong. Yeah, Harry Wang had an incredibly close fought match with Siji Wei That's in, right. in his first rubber, losing 23 21 in the second. And it really could have gone either way, couldn't it? He was I think so, yes. probably a bit unlucky. So it will be, well, it's a huge challenge now for Harry Wang of Loughborough facing up here against the Bucks national champion, Johnny Torgerson, and of course the English national champion. Just spoken to Sudhir. He's pretty happy, pretty happy with his his win. He's he's now off to the gym to warm up. <laughs> That's dedication going to the gym between between matches. That is that is. But Wiley, I think he likes to spend a little bit of time by himself and to focus himself, ready for the game. And that's what he did before the first match. He was he was in the gym for like half an hour, warming himself up, taking care of his body. Solid defense from Harry at the beginning of this rally, but Johnny's still managing to get in across with an insane angle on it, and you can't really do much against that. But the first block was solid from Harry, and if he if he manages to hold a solid defense and keep Johnny's attack under control, that's what's going to give him a chance to find some spaces and find some find some opportunities to make some points. as though it was going wide yeah it was very close that one but Johnny decided to uh, take it but knocked it off the frame 
but I'm. Who am I to question Johnny's course? If he thinks it's going in, it's going in. <laughs> The second game there on court number two off to another close start. It's a nice touch there from Johnny. Just a change of pace there. That's a good angle. turning into a very big rally. Harry's really going for these crosses here. And I think he, I think his tactic, at least it seems to be, is to try and outpace Johnny here because, well, I think maybe that's what he's trying to do. It's a close one, just floating long. And the deception there from Torgerson. Just too good. It's incredible defense. <laughs> the height he gets on those jumps. It's I just can, unreal. I can see his feet popping up above the computer screen in front of him. When he jumps and tucks his leg in, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't bash his head on the roof. <laughs> Here we go again. But you see, he's not just whacking it every time. He is controlling and he's choosing his smashes carefully. When to smash, he's choosing carefully. And that one just drifting wide. Some excellent tactical play from Harry Wang. Just a small update on court two. It looks as though... Nottingham has pulled away a little bit with 9-4. So they've created a bit of gap that they weren't able to create at the beginning of the first game. So it'll be interesting to see whether they're able to hold that gap. Of course, if if Nottingham win that match on court two, that's impressive that will make attack. 4-0. Let me see again that explosive speed coming forward from Torgerson and the error there on the service return from Harry Wang it, 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 it's a matter of when you're under that much pressure and you feel that you have to hit lines and you have to hit net cords and that's where the mistakes come from I think that's right but I think I think against Johnny, you can't afford to make those kind of mistakes. So if 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 you find that's what's happening, then you need to you, you just can't you can't afford that because Johnny's not going to be doing the same thing on the other side of the court. And if you're just feeding him the points, then you, you haven't got a chance. So Loughborough's got a, a solid solid coach, a good coach, and I think he's going to be giving them some good advice. What exactly that would be, I honestly could not tell you. It's an incredible rally on court two at the moment. Oh, that's a really, really nice shot from Harry Wang. It's, it's that, it's that angle again. I, I, I am definitely becoming more and more convinced that Wang's strategy now is to try and outpace Johnny because he's hitting such incredible angles. It's called, called why. It's why it is why. Yeah. Um, he's hitting such. Incredible angles. I'm just trying to move Johnny out of place. Yeah, he's, he's got to try and somehow maneuver Torgerson out of position, which is so difficult with the speed and power. Well, that's two in a row now, just drifting slightly wide of the line. That might, might give Wang a little bit of confidence. Just missed it. 
And court two are just uh, at their interval. Loughborough has managed to narrow to that lead that Nottingham had built up. It is now 11-9, so it looks as though Loughborough are pulling back and pulling back strong. So it's going to looks like it's, if it continues this way, it's going to be another tight game. Torreson changing rackets there after leaving that shot, which landed in. That's, it was a good round ahead and a good attack, but it looks as though Wang was just too quick on that defence and managed to pull it slightly above and slightly behind Johnny, which he didn't expect as he was coming in, which is good. If Harry can prevent Johnny from coming in and forcing himself forward with that kind of attack, then he's going to manage to get some more points on this side. So, another change of shuttle then. How many shuttles do you <laughs> make that so far today? I've, I've lost count. <laughs> That's a gorgeous angle from Torgerson. It's a pretty fast game, I have to say. We're only 14-9 in this second, second game. There's another cross that Wang's been playing a lot. That was... The lift was a bit short, I think, but Johnny didn't manage to pull it away. Just drifted wide. It's happened a few times now on that side. Wang just keeping within touching distance of Torgerson. And another smash in the net. Only three points behind now. Yeah, it looks as though Wang is catching up. A few of those have been errors and a few have been... Good maneuverability on the court. It's another error slipping in there. It looks as though Wang is building up some momentum and he's definitely going to try carrying this forward. But that's a good place. It's a good solid net. This is a big rally. Yeah, this is a huge point now. And I think Johnny's going to really want to break Wang's momentum. That's a oh, fantastic that's cross. Beautiful. That's incredible. I think Johnny really needed that. Had he lost that, he, I don't think he would have been too concerned in his mind, but the score would be looking a bit tougher. And Wang would definitely have been getting building up more confidence. Well, he's he, managed to break Wang's momentum, and I think that's really important for Johnny at this yeah, stage of the game. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be demoralising after a rally of that duration. But I think he's still going to be feeling okay, given the best of points he had not that long ago. Oh, that's, that's really impressive. fast on the net. That's impressive. We've seen a lot of tight nets from Johnny, and. Wang wasn't letting him have another. He pounced on that. He read that brilliantly. And Loughborough now with the momentum on the on the next court. It's a big smash from Johnny. It's massive. And I think he's he's not going to let Wang get in front of him. Yeah, he's closed down the gap brilliantly, but he just can't quite seem to, to overtake that. Right? To get ahead. Johnny's up in the okay. pace a little bit now. I think Johnny's really switched on it's, the pace. Yeah. yeah, it's it's noticeable, isn't it? He's he's just moved into another gear. <laughs> Which is ridiculous, as if he's got yeah, another. If he's got gear. more gears. <laughs> it's 
playing much faster now. I think he was trying a bit of uh, to be a, a little bit more technical at the beginning, and now. Oh, and the placement of that smash. It was a bit of a half smash, but it just dropped just inside the back line. Just nothing that Wang could do about that. And suddenly, from 14-15, it's 18-14. And, and Torgerson has a comfortable lead again. And I think it's that pace change. It just shows how Johnny's ability to control the game. He, he plays the game he wants to play. Not only does he play the game he wants to play, but he forces the opponent to play the game that he wants to play. Yeah. Johnny wants to play fast, the game goes fast. And the doubles on court two, finishing there. 21. Eight. Was that, is that it's 16. Is it far away? Is that a 16? And was that was that a win for Loughborough? I think so. I think so. Yes. At least from the expression on David's face as he as he walks around the wall, I can't quite so see it. Overall, that would put us at 3-1. Yeah, that puts Nottingham at 3-1 currently. Well. Torgerson here with five game points. That's a brilliant net from one. Such good length on the left, though. Great anticipation. Not sure what he was looking at there. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> this is a fantastic game point. Oh, oh, he's Johnny's missed it. taken it. 21-15, 21-11, 21-15, Nottingham's taken so another singles match. Johnny, I think unbeaten for the entire season now, that means. I think. I think, I think, did he, I think he may have lost one match against... We'll check with him. <laughs> was it against the... Uh, well, he played Alvaro. Kento Momoto not long ago. He lost that. He did do, yeah, he, he, mind you. <laughs> but he, I meant in Buck season. He but took yeah. Kento Momoto to 22 20. In, oh, for one, one of the games I remember 15. But I mean, that's, that's, that's Johnny Turgeson. <laughs> I, think, I think he lost a game against Alvaro Vasquez. Uh, Spanish That's the uh, captain of the Loughborough team, the current captain of the Loughborough team. Yeah. But it seems Loughborough didn't then choose to put him down in the uh, in the singles this time. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe there's an injury problem. I, I don't quite know. So... Torgerson about to get this second game underway and the uh, singles on court two also soon to start with uh, Suzia Wei playing against this is un unusual Harry Wang having to stroll across court two to go and get a mop well, I think there's one under the Asherway banner on the right. I saw it, but maybe, maybe he didn't know that. This is one of those cases of uh, if you want a job done right, do it do yourself. Do it yourself. <laughs> so, Harry Wang, not not leaving anything to chance. No. I'm talking of Harry Wang. Now we have Harry, Harry Wang, Wang is here. Just joined us. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very good. Um, can you update me on the uh, overall score, please? Uh, I believe. Nottingham are leading 3-1 3-1 and Johnny's taken the first game in this match so if he takes this second it will be 4-1 it is exciting <laughs> you guys are doing well what good things have you said about me already? Um, well we haven't included the quote you provided for the season <laughs> that's an no, excellent we were saying shot from Harry Wang there
again Torgerson just pulling Harry out of position opening up the court <laughs> the shuttle there sticking into the net Torgerson goes on to win this match and the overall score I believe will be 4-1 and if that happens Loughborough can then only draw at best at which point it would go down to points go down to, it would go down to sets and then points I believe if it was four all, yeah. If it was four all, the uh, match against Warwick, it was at least in the announcement. Maybe because the sets were equal. Yeah, because every uh, match went to two in the game against oh, Warwick. Yeah. So that might have been so why yeah, it was then uh, yeah. went down to points. In court two, some seems to be some pause, but soon to start, I believe. Fantastic defense. Incredible reactions. Oh, well, Johnny's done not very going well to, be to happy survive with that. that. And the error coming from Torgerson, maybe even a, a hint of impatience there after a few shots that perhaps he thought would have won the rally. Possibly. I, I felt he seemed, his, by his body language and it seemed and some of the shots seem calmer control but he's not going to be happy with that net again what we've seen so many times Torgerson opening up the court dragging Harry Wang on into his backhand side and then smashing down his forehand side seems to be a set play that is very effective a couple of errors appearing from CG on court two uh, one smash wide and one in the net and he's letting the Loughborough player Jack Taylor get away with a reasonably comfortable lead of 5-1 at the moment and that's just wide there from Torgerson Sorry, I stand corrected. 2 5. I don't think that's what you were saying there, Sean, about pushing Wang on the backhand now. Yeah, he, he just. That's, seems that's a fast uh, attack. Oh, that's brilliant speed, yeah. Yeah, he, he just seems to be able to drag Wang out of position and, and open up the court really well, which, you know, conversely, and again, that's good. the speed that's good coming defense. forward. But he, yeah, this, this, this approach speed, when he pushes in and Johnny pushes in, he's, he's really like a machine. But that's excellent deception there from, from Wang. And that's the renewed attempts about pacing and outmaneuvering Johnny. But a few more errors than normally see on this on this uh, famous smash of Johnny here, so he still he still has a comfortable lead, but he may feel a little bit concerned about that. So an 11-6 lead for Torgerson at the end of this first, sorry, the second game.
what can Huang, sorry, what can Wang do to try and stop Torgerson from dragging him out of position? Well, I think he has to do the same to Torgerson, and that's what he's. That's where a lot of these six points have come from. It's where he's he's had those little deceptive pushes at the net, and um, just tried, difficult as it may be, tried to outmaneuver and outpace Johnny. And I think that's the only way he can also keep himself in. <laughs> just a little word there from uh, Nottingham coach Martin Lewis. Of course, we are neutral commentators, but <laughs> totally unbiased. <laughs> We might study at Nottingham. But yeah, as well as that's incredible defence again. Oh, it's just gone straight unlucky. over his head. He actually had a brilliant opportunity there. He, he played that rally quite well. Unfortunately, he missed the shuttle. Got a little bit too excited. Oh, that's a great reach. I don't even know how he got the first one. And the kill from Torgerson. He tried sticking his racket out in hope, which might have been a nice highlight, but unfortunately for him, the shuttle did go straight past him. Yeah, the lift is short. He survived the That's attack. Incredible That's incredible counter -attack. Outrageous jump out. And he catches the line, bang on. That's one of the best smashes I've seen all day. Being able to fend off Johnny's attack and counter attack is very impressive and you know, short very well there I, I have to say I think Wang is dealing with Johnny's attack quite well he's getting not all of it but he's getting a significant amount of those smashes back and not as many points being finished off by Johnny in that way as were finished in the Bucks individuals we saw a couple of months ago. I'll tell you what, Dax, this is a long rally. This is very important now. That's a great shot. Short. It's just too good. The control from Torgerson. I mean, Wang did so well to, to stay in that rally. I think there were three or four times where I thought the point was over and he somehow retrieved the shuttle. It's just gone long. Both players now looking quite tired, unsurprisingly, after some grueling rallies. Looks like... I'm just pushing that one wide. Looks like 11 all on court two. Yeah. So it looks Very like CJ is having another tight two. game. That's, and he's just pulled away at 12-11. That's short. And Johnny's put it away. Looked as though Wang was trying to catch the shuttle there. Well, I don't blame him for trying that. It didn't come off, but I think you have to try something special. It is a little bit, I suppose so, although it is, li I would have normally said it's a little bit dangerous, but it has worked for him in the past in this, in this, in this sets. So, yeah. So 17-9 now, now the lead. Torgerson just needing four more points to take this match, which would give Nottingham a 4-1 <gasps> advantage. It's an unbelievable rally over on court too. It's a shame you can't see both because both of these games are absolutely outstanding. Sudia went in for the net kill, but somehow it just bounced off Taylor's racket. To be honest, I'm not, I, I, I just couldn't even believe the shuttle came flying back over the net. But he did put it away in the end. It's uh, 10 match points. I, I what odds do you think you get on a comeback here? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's... it's difficult to say the least 
But it has to be said, Wang has played very well, and he's he's still pulling up points. He's, he's not giving excellent. up. That was a fantastic shot, and he's he will not let Johnny have it. He has played very well, and I, I have to say, I'm ex especially impressed how he's dealt with Johnny's attack. Sizia winning some big points on court two, pulling away, pulling away with the lead. It seems. And that one goes wide. So that's. I might have to take three. your question seriously now yeah, about the odds three. of a <laughs> match point save. Let's see, if only can. another eight to save. That's oh, four. he's another. <laughs> he's 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 not giving in. The score now uh, twenty thirteen. I suppose. And oh, and the deception there. It's too much. And Johnny takes that, I think it was 21, was it 15, 21, 15, 21, 13. So comfortable for Johnny Turgeson. And crucially, that now gives the University of Nottingham a 4-1 advantage in this match. And now all that Loughborough can hope for is a draw. And they'll have to win on games if if they can make that happen. Welcome back. If you're just joining us now, uh, we're here live at the University of Nottingham for the 2022 Bucks Men's Badminton Championship Final between Loughborough and Nottingham Universities in association with Ashaway. So, so far... The University of Nottingham have a 4-1 advantage. Loughborough now need to win all remaining games if they are to win the tie. Up next on court number one, we have Harry Huang and Sam Smith from the University of Nottingham and they're just waiting for their opponents
Bucks Big Wednesday is brought to you with the support of headline partners New Balance. New Balance are selling bespoke event merchandise, including an exciting new Bucks winner's range. Make sure you check them out or visit the Bucks shop on the Bucks website to order online. So the love prepare of Alex Green and Nayan Bin now on court alongside their University of Nottingham opponents. And I'm joined here by Johnny Torgerson. How are you feeling, Johnny? Yeah, I'm feeling good. It was a good match. I'm very happy with the, the two wins today. Excellent, excellent. And do you think that the rest of the team have what it takes to pull through the, the overall win? Yes, of course. I'm, I'm very confident in our team today. Uh, we've been prepping well and uh, it's, um, it's been focused on, on getting these wins in today. Excellent stuff. It's been a, a very impressive performance so far. But there's still a lot to be done. Loughborough fighting now for every point. Jack Taylor there with a three-point advantage in the second game on court number two. So, Alex Green of the University of Loughborough won the under-19 national men's doubles title with Nathan Moore and the mixed doubles in December. He's an England junior international and programme player and also won silver in the mixed doubles at Bucks Individuals back in February of this year. He has a national ranking of 24 in men's doubles and 15 in mixed doubles. And his partner, Nayam Bin, is a former Singapore junior international. These two will definitely be a force to be reckoned with. Sam Smith to get this match off to a start. The Bucks Badminton program is brought to you with the support of Bucks Badminton partners Ashaway. A massive thank you to the Ashaway team for their continued support of Bucks Badminton. Oh, and that's a big net cord winner there. My commentating partner is returned. He's been uh, he's been getting all the inside knowledge. Couldn't What's resist myself. Looks like Sudi is pulling away here. He won the first game 21-17. Started off a little bit of a shaky start at the beginning of this one, but he's back in form for the second game. And although I cannot he's actually see the score 10, from 10, here, 11 down, 10-11 down, but he's built up these last few points and caught up after being down at the very beginning of the game so I meant by the uh, slightly shaky start and I think he's building up his momentum and he's pumped you can see him on court clenching his fist and he's had a series of I think at least four points in a row now and that looks like a fifth point because uh, he was down at the interval but he's he's won the last 
five or six points in a row now. Just to keep you updated on court one here, scores not displaying properly. Loughborough currently lead 5-4. So I think the current score for the whole match is 4-1. Yeah, I believe so. Which makes every game a must win at this point for Loughborough. Yeah, and not only that, but every point since so far, all the games have gone to two. They've been uh, either won or lost in, in two games. So every match, sorry, has been either won or lost in two games. So every point is vital if Loughborough's hoping to pull away with a, with a win from this one. So that being the case, Dax, correct me if I'm wrong, but if, if Nottingham win another set... Then that's it for Nottingham, because it would be... The best Loughborough could hope for would be a 5-3, which would be a little bit of a, uh, a sore score, given it's the same as what they managed to get against Nottingham in their last encounter. So if Nottingham either win the singles or this doubles, that does conclude in terms of the overall result. Having said that, these players aren't going to give in or get complacent there. They're, they're going to fight for every game Absolutely. they can. So, good start here for the Loughborough pair. It's a much faster doubles than the, the last doubles with, uh, from these few points I've seen. Sam Harry against the previous left pair. This one seems to be much faster. That's a big attack from Loughborough there. There's He's not so much quick they can do. Forward, the, the young man from Singapore. I remember uh, when I was when I was living in Singapore for around a year and training. <clears throat> one of the big focuses was there was a lot of strength and conditioning. With, uh, it's a big win, a big point there. Uh, there was a lot of strength and conditioning training in terms of looking at agility. Something I picked, noticed during the training sessions there in Singapore, <clears throat> trying to build the fastest players they, they can. So Loughborough with an 11-9 advantage at the mid-game interval. We've not seen Loughborough with an advantage at any point on this court so far today. Big shouts from court two as Sudia takes away that win there. The final score, my eyes are failing. It looks like a 21-16. Is that a 16 or an 18? Yeah, 21-16. And crucially, 16. that doesn't that make gives it Nottingham five rubbers. Five games, that's right. Which actually means that they have won the tie overall. That's right. But this love repair aren't going to go down without a fight, that's for sure. They're going to do everything they can to keep up the keep up the pressure where they can and, and get as many games back as they possibly can. But that does currently set it at 5-1 for Nottingham now. <clears throat> Sam with his ritual blow on the grip. Uh, always seeing him do that. No idea what it does. 
It's incredible, rea incredible sorry, reactions from the Luftwaffe pair there, but it's not much you can do against such a steep attack. The scores there just being announced to confirm off the last singles, court 2, 21-17, 21-16 to Nottingham. <clears throat> and now court 2 will be the second doubles, Dave and Perry against the Moore. I think uh, it will be Nathan Moore and... Green. So Loughborough still with a slight advantage in this first set. Very little between these two. And it definitely seems that the pace has been up, and I think um, <clears throat> Sam and Harry are dealing well with it, but they are, as Loughborough are pulling away slightly with, with the points as they up the pace. <clears throat> It's an incredible attack. Relentless attack, but the defense but just too much from Harry Wang. Wang. And he couldn't quite put it away, smashing it just wide there. He'll have expended some energy with those jump parts. It was so Nottingham taking the lead in this opening set for the first time. Sam waiting there with his forehand, waiting for that drive push back. That's, That's that is well played. Play. That is excellent. Excellent from the left bar <laughs> pair, bringing it back up to a tie. Looks as though they're not going to let Nottingham pull away with the lead, although it almost looked as though it was about to be the case. But they've pulled it back up to 14 all. Seems there a fault has been call, called on the serve. Is that what happened? Is I think a fault was called on the serve. Interesting. Yep, yeah, a fault was called on the serve. Foot fault called on the serve. I think that's the first service fault we've seen. There was one on so the uh, the end court in the singles. Dan was uh, faulted for a, a foot fault. Uh, but that court has not been on, on TV and Sean has been working commentating all day on the TV court look as though that might have been floating wide but Sam got his racket in on it been pouncing on that one there that's that speed I was talking about earlier. Not letting any shuttle get below the tape, taking it over his head and forcing it back down onto the other side. Still almost nothing separating these two pairs. And the speed of attack from Alex Green there. Sam Smith there, sticking out his tongue at the opponents. Not sure whether you're supposed to do that. <laughs> but it's the, it's the lighter side of Sam, which we love to see, which we do see on and off the court. But he's as serious as ever when he's playing every single shot. Absolutely. Smith currently 
studying a PhD at the University of Nottingham, having graduated uh, with a degree in maths. Not only is he one of the most talented badminton players I've ever met, but he's one of the smartest people I've ever met. And suddenly, Nottingham pulled away. It seems as a, a little bit of a repeat there with the second set as with the last, where it's very tight, but the, the end game of the Nottingham pair is pretty tight. And, and there it is, Nottingham take the opening game, 21-18. And coach Martin Lewis will be delighted with the way things are panning out here at this. The Bucks big Wednesday. Men's badminton championship final in association with Ashaway. Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance, is brought to you with the support of Bucks Partners EY. EY are one of the UK's best employers, working with Bucks to employ talented Bucks students onto their graduate, intern and insight week roles, offering something for all students of all years. Bucks athletes can have their applications fast-tracked so if you're looking for a fulfilling role at a brilliant organization, get your application in and tick Bucks as a partner and fast track eligibility to get the ball rolling. So Smith and Huang looking ready for this second set. You know Sam's ready when he starts blowing on his racket grip. <laughs> oh, that's a nice net cord there. Unbelievable defense off the body from Harry Huang. Alex Green with the big smash. That's a great smash to win the opening point of the second game. And I'll tell you what, Dax, this love repair aren't going to go down without a fight. Definitely not. And seeing as how close they were in the, in the sort of mid-end game there with the 15 alls and 16s and Notting just managing to pull away at the very end, it's a very tight game. It's very close. And I think this love repair know that when they switch on the attack, they, they do have a very strong attack. They're very fast, they're very strong with the attack, and they can get points that way, and they'll definitely be looking to take this to threes, to a three-set match. Definitely. The, uh, An unlucky net cord there on the serve. A big shout-out to our fans joining us, watching from Stevenage. Yes, I'm talking to you, Andrew Donald. It's <laughs> fantastic. Attack on the body there. Green unable to manoeuvre his own body out of the way of the shuttle. Something I always notice with Sam Serve, which I really like, is he hardly moves. <laughs> I mean, we've seen a lot of lot of the serve with lots of flicking wrists and this kind of thing, but Sam really pushes from his shoulder, and he, in doing so, he manages to keep the shuttle pretty low, pretty tight, and that makes it really difficult for any opponent to switch on the attack off the serve and that's something I, I particularly admire about some service and he's been managing to hold that up in this game as well you can see that with Bin taking it below the tape there and that's I haven't seen a single one of some serves being taken above the tape actually and I think that's that's why oh Harry pulling the shot back off the net cord there but the attack. And I think that one just drifting long at the back line, which is a bit unfortunate because 
they worked very hard to win the attack there and it was a great bit of play from Alex Green and it makes all the difference at uh, 6-2 now 7-2 and pulling away to 8-2 it's looking tough but I can't say the Love Prepare have dropped in form. They're still playing, they're still keeping up the attack and they're playing well, but Nottingham yeah. still somehow managing to just pull away there. Yeah, they've they've really not done much wrong. They're forcing the error from Sam Smith. And I think these next three points are absolutely crucial for the psychology of the Love Prepares. They can't go into the interval this many points down that that'll be tough yeah looks as though on court two the doubles with Perry and Dave uh, Perry and Dave sorry have, have taken a, uh, a lead of 9-2 to begin with David Hong of course the captain of the University of Nottingham's men's badminton team uh, he said going into this tournament it's been an absolute honour to captain such a great team on and off the court and uh, I know for a fact that everybody on the University of Nottingham's team looks up to David as, as a leader and as a badminton player and, and as a person and if I might add, so, so, add, add as a hype man <laughs> he is definitely one of the absolute loudest fans and this is definitely not a criticism <laughs> and I think having David on your side of the court cheering for you is a massive boost for anyone playing yeah. in any match home or away and I think that's something that has to be said about the uh, fans not only for Nottingham in this competition but there's a fantastic turnout for all the teams uh, they've brought their fans with them and it creates a fantastic atmosphere which is supportive for both the players of their own and the opponents so I noticed there Nottingham taking no more than about 10 seconds for that mid-game interval. <laughs> yes, uh, Martin with a quick chat seemed as a word of encouragement and just letting them carry on, it seems. The they seem prepare. focused and they seem, on, they seem on it. Well, they're really facing a tall order now to come back from this deficit. 14-4 now. It's hard to see how they can overturn that it's quite a big shift from the first game as I was saying earlier that I thought this would be their chance to pull it to three given that they were really tied up until the 16s yeah well and we saw a similar player. thing in the first game that Harry Huang and Sam Smith played where it was quite close in the first set and in the second set a lot more comfortable they seem to grow in confidence as, as the match goes on now a very fast black exchange and Huang with the error in the end putting it into the net just catching the tape and falling back to his own side and you have to say that's a point that Loughborough really needed to win he's not going to be happy with that Sixteen six. I don't see much they can do. It's looking like a much tighter game on court two at eleven thirteen, with the Nottingham pair having the slight advantage. Up now thirteen twelve. Is it thirteen twelve? Oh. I definitely need my glasses. <laughs> Apparently that's a six. <laughs> Jeez. I see the six now. Now that it's turned into a seven, um, I see it. 
Smith and Huang unrelenting. Now with an 18-6 lead. And you have to say a deserved lead. They are playing very well together. They're not, they're not letting the love for a pair take any of the chances. That's a good change of pace with the cross there. What's he doing? <laughs> uh, and he just pushes that one wide. I, I think he just started to run out of ideas there. I, I agree. I don't think he... It seems as if he didn't know what to do with it, but... And suddenly 14 match points. Oh, that's a, that's a big attack putting Harry on the floor and then hitting him with the shuttle. <laughs> and there it is. Nottingham seven. take the second set, 21-7. And that puts the, the tie beyond doubt now. So I think that makes the overall match... <laughs> The overall match score and six you can, one. You can hear the crowd. I hope. <laughs> and that does take it to six one now. I think that's the last game on this TV court. We still have another doubles being played on court two. Um, I'm not going to trust my eyes this time. <laughs> looks like a looks it's like a nine. Uh, and a, sixteen nine. Sixteen nine. On court number two there. Uh, 10, 16, sixteen ten. Only because I know what comes after nine. <laughs> well, Perhaps we if the uh, it might be possible to get a view of the second court. There we go. So you can now watch the last doubles being played. And can see some of the uh, women's double uh, women's on the other end. Of. That's right. Oh, uh, having said ended. that, it's just finished. Never mind. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure who I'm not, I'm who not doing very one, good, am I? <laughs> no, neither am I. But that was uh, Oxford against uh, Warwick. Bucks Big Wednesday is brought to you with the support of headline partners New Balance. New Balance are selling bespoke event merchandise, including an exciting new Bucks winner's range. Make sure you check them out or visit the Bucks shop on the Bucks website to order online. Even if you don't win. <laughs> Well, we hope that you've enjoyed the coverage of Bucks Big Wednesday powered by New Balance as much as we've enjoyed being part of it. There have been some really, really intense games. Singles, doubles, it, both have been fantastic. Even the games where the score appeared to show domination on one side, it has to be said every single point was fought for. Uh, in particular, what comes to mind is the game between Johnny and Harry. Johnny uh, Turgeson and Harry Wang. Um, when you look at the scores on the surface, they look as though it was a total domination, but credit has to be given to Harry Wang from Loughborough. He, he dealt with Johnny's attack very well. I think he came into the game knowing that Johnny is a big hitter. He's, his biggest strength is his attack and his uh, funky cross blocks, which I love, but that's not... Yeah, his, his biggest strength is his attack. And... Um, he came into the game knowing that and he, you could tell he was working hard to play against that and deal with that. And I have to say, I think he did that very well, although this final score was uh, a much bigger gap than, of course, he would have hoped for.
So it looks as though the University of Nottingham have taken that opening game on court number two. 21-13. Uh, Come on, am I right? Correct. Yes! Yeah, you got it. You got it. <laughs> Without my glasses. Jim waving there. Shout out to Jim Fari, drum teacher and badminton <laughs> I, specialist. I thought you said drunk teacher for a moment. <laughs> And we've just been passed by the performance SNC coach, Anna. Don't know her surname actually, but I joined the joined the performance SNC training relatively recently. But um, especially great contribution she's offered, and I think that is that the first female SNC coach we've had, and I think that's been a really good contributor to the team, especially for the women's team. We've been doing very 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 well this season as well. So I think the Nottingham team has been supported a lot by, you know, several coaches, badminton coaches, CSSC coaches as well. Absolutely. So this second game about to get underway here on court number two. Perry, NG to serve. When, uh, when Perry was asked for a few words about today's event, his response was simply, let's get the job done. Yes. Well, that's Perry's attitude. And that is not in a, in a serious or harsh way. He's just, he just focuses on doing what needs to be done. And he's, but at the same time, that's on the court. And off the court, he's one of the friendliest guys I know. He's always smiling. I don't think I've ever seen him frown. And I think that's what makes him a great badminton player, if I'm honest. He's had some success uh, in recent competitions, partnering with uh, one of the players from Warwick, actually, Kelvin Ho. Perry and Kelvin Ho were in Portugal uh, not long ago, and also at, I think it was a gold event, although I don't recall the location. Yeah, I think it was the Nottingham Gold. Nottingham Gold. Did they win that? Yeah, I think I they did. They won, yeah. I think they, yeah, they won. In the words of a Martin Lewis, it was pretty smooth sailing. <laughs> um, Martin Lewis, the... Badminton coach, the, the legend, uh, not the business, not the not the economist. I mean the uh, the legendary, the only one and only Nottingham badminton coach. <laughs> that's a it's a really precise that that level of accuracy is 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 really what's serving the Loughborough team well here, pushing it into that gap. You can see Nathan Moore down there, unwilling to allow Nottingham. To take this last game without a fight with all the experience of having won the under 19 national men's doubles title and being a runner-up in the mixed doubles he certainly knows how to how to fight It's a fantastic over the head from Dave there, but Loughborough didn't let go on the attack. But it's that kind of speed which the Nottingham team needs to counter the attack of Loughborough. If they can, if they can keep that kind of game up, they will be able to counter and switch it round. So if you had to pick a favourite moment from the day, what would it be, Dax? It has to be that singles, I'm, uh, sorry, the doubles I mentioned before between Nottingham and Warwick. <coughs> the score for the match was a 4-3 uh, to Warwick. So Nottingham absolutely needed that doubles to bring it to 4 all, at which point it would go down to points. And 2017 down in the first game, they brought it up to 20 all, which sent half the people in the hall absolutely bonkers and then won the game 22-20 five points in a row Steve Elliott serving 
And eventually, when they won the second game, everybody ran onto the court. Steve and Ash didn't know they'd actually won on points. They genuinely thought they'd lost, so they weren't quite sure why everyone was running onto the court. <laughs> um, but then it turned out that they did take the win in the end by five points, making uh, making it a four-all draw in games, but a five-point win on in uh, overall. Just yeah. less than a point a game, if you think about it. So even for those players who lost their games on the Nottingham side, they have to remember that every point that they got counted and it's the same for the Loughborough every single point matters you know one frame on the side that knocks the shuttle out to the back out to the side that makes a difference yeah it's these fine margins at this level isn't it but the intensity of that game is definitely my highlight my takeaway from from today that was my heart was racing I might say more than when I'm playing <laughs> That was so, really sometimes intense. Sometimes it is worse to be a spectator than, uh, <laughs> than actually competing. Having said that, I definitely uh, my heart was racing last time I played at an international. So my heart was racing on the ride here. Flipping egg. <laughs> So nine all. Yeah, Loughborough have managed to pull back some points there, bringing it to nine all. So it's, it looks like it's going to be another tight one if it continues at this rate. It could be in for a, a three-set finale, possibly. And Nottingham down at the changeover with Loughborough really up in the pace on the attack. 11-9 the lead here for Loughborough in the mid-game interval Martin Lewis just coming over to have a word with his players Dave Lindley there for Loughborough University who briefly worked at Nottingham University a few years ago very very good coach a wealth of experience sure he'll have some very good words of advice for Nathan Moore. I don't think I've ever seen David without some bling around his neck. If I can add something totally unrelated to badminton while we wait for them to start the next. <laughs> David He's always got something shining. Of course, king of the taxi uh, service of the fade fade as Skin well fade. fade as well I was trying to bring it back to badminton <laughs> uh, if you haven't been taxied by David Hong at the net on a badminton court then you've then not you played lived. enough points with him you haven't lived either yeah if he was a basketball player he'd definitely be going viral for breaking people's ankles but I think that's his style and it serves him well the sort of the deception and just trying to play where you don't either want it to play or think he would play. This, of course, David Hong's final year at Nottingham. He'll be delighted to have captained this team to a huge victory here on Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. And, of course, following on from the amazing success that Nottingham University had at Bucks Individuals. Not to mention the uh, third team's league win uh, a couple of weeks ago, which was also against Loughborough. So that just builds on the rivalry that Sean was explaining earlier between these two universities. Shout out to Leah Valens and Jim Fari for their dedication to the scoreboard on court number two. Even Seven. if I can't <laughs> read it from here. They've just messed the scores up, just as I've said that.
It's all right. Loughborough leading 14-12 on court number two. Trying to force a deciding game in this final match of the day. Some incredible fast flat play here. Perry with the big smash. Dave follows up. It's great defence from the Loughborough boys. Nathan Moore winning the attack for Loughborough. Big smash. Comes in for the kill. Perry puts it wide. That's really, really solid play from the Loughborough pair. Harry Good walking by after a win for Nottingham before in wearing in what appears to be his night suit. Maybe he's getting ready to go to bed. The score currently 15-12 to Loughborough in the second game. And another fast flat exchange sees Perry win the point for the Nottingham pair. Oh, that's short. And look, but don't let Nottingham pair get away with that. Yeah, the, the smash was... there. Well, the, the second smash from Hong doing the job it's a nice touch Loughborough got at the net it went from really speedy attack and they've got the touch at the net they, they're playing really well now with a four point cushion 17-13 the score Yeah, that flick was short as well. You can see it, especially from the side view. Aggressive play there from David Hong. Just keeping them within touching distance. Three points the difference right now. Make that two. Martin Lewis at the back of the court there urging the boys from Nottingham to kill this game off in straight sets but Loughborough have got something to say about that they're not going to make it easy for them probably shouting Dave's not happy with that but he's a fast guy I think he could have taken some of that on his forehand but running in off pushes off the backhand it's, it's, it's not going to work for him and this brings up three game point opportunities for Loughborough to take us into a decided this is set 100% a theme of the day 100% theme of the day. How, How many, many game points? How many times have we seen 2017? <laughs> if this, this is going to... Oh, and that's oh, too Loughborough far. have taken it. A little bit of a loose serve there from David Hong gives Loughborough the opportunity to take us to a deciding game in this final match here at Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. The Bucks Badminton program is brought to you with the support of Bucks Badminton partners Ashaway. A massive thank you to the Ashaway team for their continued support of Bucks Badminton.
Yeah, I have to say I've been using the uh, Ashaway strings lately and I'm pretty impressed uh, seeing as I couldn't find those of another provider that I would normally use in this country, not to mention the name. <laughs> but um, the Ashaway strings have been serving me pretty well anyway, these Zymax 6.6 uh, six gauge. I've been converted to them by uh, Shane Wilson of the Jamaican national team, also sponsored by Ashaway. And I wouldn't have tried them otherwise. And I have to say, Ashaway making some nice strings, and I, I, I like them. I have to say I like them. I don't know if you've ever used uh, any Ashaway strings, but... I can't say I've used Ashaway myself. I may, I may have done in the past, a long time ago. A lot of our players but here also sponsored and supported yeah, I mean, by Ashaway. I, I do know a lot of players sponsored by Ashaway, and I only ever hear good things. So, Nathan Moore gets the third game underway. Great interception from Moore, giving Loughborough the first point of this final and deciding set. We do now have the score, which is nice. And I won't say anything stupid now. I can read it on the screen in front of me. <laughs> that's that's very impressive. Again, it's a really good cutout from the Loughborough gentleman. Clearly catching Perry off guard, he was moving his way in, but got knocked by the shuttle himself on the way in. And that's the exciting thing with the men's doubles, I find anyway, it's that, it's that speed. Uh, as a singles player myself, and watching the doubles, I definitely get excited by the, by the speed and the intensity. Oh, and David so Hong shown for the racket change. He's broken a string in the rally. He's managed to, <laughs> to, get, back on to get back on court. The rally's still going. They're deep in defence, but can they hold this one off? This would, oh, oh he just doesn't quite bring it off. He's going to be disappointed. What an effort. Yeah, he was back on. It looked as if he was on form. He was playing, but I think uh, perhaps it was the psychological disruption rather than anything, rather was, than anything else because he seemed to be back in position. I, from here... It doesn't look as though he actually broke a string, so I'm not sure what the change of rackets was for, but... Well, he wouldn't have... If he heard something that didn't sound good and he wanted to change, I think he would have just changed them, but he wouldn't have checked whether he'd broken the string because he hasn't got enough time. And I think I saw that earlier with one of the singles, one of the women's singles went off to change a racket, but by the looks of things, it didn't look like the strings were broken. It's a huge smash. Just, just drifts wide, did it? Was it in? It was in. That love prepare really controlling the net at the end and then turning on the attack. I think the. Uh, Nottingham Jurors struggling a bit to deal with that to be honest although the score is still still close well it's been it's been very very close throughout bit of a seemed to be a racket clash there but I heard it I didn't see it Harry just pushing that one wide feeling the pressure here I think deciding game Loughborough now with a 7-3 lead the Loughborough pair seem to be playing a lot faster against Perry and David compared to when they played against Sam and Harry of course it is a totally different game but they have up the speed it seems and it seems to be serving them well as well because they're taking a pretty big lead now change of tactics giving them that 8-4 lead and you can see the determination on Nathan Moore's face 
He clearly has no intention of walking away from this without winning this game. I think that's absolutely right. But for sure, I can say David and Perry aren't the ones to let the game go, even if they have won the entire uh, the match itself. Yeah. But it gives them the, the freedom to... That was very fast. ...to play... That's impressive. ...comfortably in the knowledge that Nottingham have won the tie. That is true, but they don't look very comfortable at the moment. <laughs> David seems a bit agitated, if I'm honest. Just just from the body language of it, I've been seeing him before in training and seeing him now, it looks like he's not, he's not happy. good effort from Dave trying to take that but I think he jumped an entire second too early <laughs> that's a big point for Nottingham to win definitely just before the changeover not letting Loughborough get to that changeover it's such a big lead you can't understate the importance Drifting of the wide. difference at the changeover, I don't think. At least for me, anyway, it definitely makes a difference about what the points are at that changeover. Definitely. That's a huge jump out from David Hong. And suddenly, from 10 7, it's 10 all. And now Nottingham with a chance to lead at the change of ends. Oh, but he's, he's just too fast for Nathan Moore. That's really solid play. And, and now they change ends, taking us into the final half of the final game, of the final set. Of the final match. <laughs> of the final. Of the Of the finals, <laughs> But there will be another Big Bucks Wednesday next year. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure you tune in for Bucks Big Wednesday next year. Bucks Big Wednesday brought to you with the support of headline partners New Balance. New Balance are selling bespoke event merchandise, including an exciting new Bucks winners range. Make sure you check them out or visit the Bucks shop on the Bucks website to order online. <laughs> so only one point, the well now no points the difference. Couldn't be closer. Two sets played. Half of the third set played, 11 all, nothing to separate these two doubles pairs. That's great <laughs> so anticipation from net. Hong. So quick on the net from David Hong. He was waiting for that, he needed that. <laughs> he reads the game so well. a great rally both pairs with an extraordinary ability to turn oh, up defense into attack and oh I'd have to say that's almost a bit lazy there from David Hong I think he just wasn't ready for it to be crossed over to the other side and got caught a bit off guard but even then he, he did still, still seem to have time so It's still close and it's still tight. Couple of errors there from Loughborough. Nathan Moore looking more determined than ever.
Unbelievable defense. How have they got those back? And that last shot. Long of the back line, I think. Very hard to tell from our angle. Only yeah, one I think point so. the service was over. And now Nottingham with the serve. Not sure what Martin told him. But something seems to be working. Seems as though they're really starting to try hard to pull away. Well, at this stage of the match, it really is just a matter of which side has more bottle. Oh, it's still going. It's a, it's a <laughs> incredible it's defense of oh. the body. And David, David Long. and Perry. They're going to be disappointed with that because he they had the attack. They that too much. They had, they, had, they had the attack and they were in control. And, but the Loughborough's defense, they managed to, instead of relifting, they managed to keep it flat and turn the game around quite comfortably. Turn that point around quite comfortably there. That shot just drifts wide. And now David Hong serving. This time Perry with an error in the net. Just a few hints that people are starting to get a little bit nervy on this court. <laughs> I think so. But which Nottingham still haven't lost the, lost the lead here, which is going to feel good for them, but they, they're going to have to work That's to maintain it. That's such great anticipation from Perry. He's come out of nowhere and just taken that. Nottingham now three points away from taking this final set. And the final match. Don't start that again. <laughs> Don't start it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. You know, I, I said to Sean Kelly this morning those net cords only ever happen when you when you don't need them they always go against you at the worst of times I think Dave thinks it went over well, but I don't think it went over did it not I, don't I think thought it, it went over I don't think it went over we need to we need to rewind it yeah, we can't do that it's live stream <laughs> by definition someone on YouTube can, can scroll back a bit and tell us we'll never know <laughs> that's big so only one point between them again. What a difference that, that net cord could make. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, How God, is it still going? So I yeah, can't believe it. That's amazing. That's unbelievable. That's, that's, that's How on earth have they kept that rally going? That's spectacular defense. That, that's what, at this stage of the game as well, that's going to give them both, both Dave and Perry, a huge boost. That, I mean, that's incredible. Loughborough look a little bit dismayed. What have you got to do to put the shuttle on the floor? Read it again. Everything this comes is... back. And finally, Nathan Moore manages to put the shuttle on the floor. Only one point the difference. 18-19 in the third game. This could go to setting. Just for anyone that isn't familiar with the rules, if they reach 20 all, they must win by two clear points. And that's Love 19 the pair all. Bringing it to 19 all. We couldn't have asked for a closer, more intense final game. Well, what a way to finish the day. into the net and that brings up huge. the first match point opportunity in favour of the University of Nottingham but 
as cliche as it is to say, this really is one of those games that everybody deserves to win or nobody deserves to lose. I'm trying not to say something biased. <laughs> <laughs> it's two net quarters there. But Ooh. David's put it in the net and his hands are on his face. So 20 all now and we are into setting. They Had must a... win by two clear points. <laughs> oh, and oh. late decision there. A bit of a miscommunication. Brings up another match point opportunity for Nottingham. David I Hunt bet he's going to flick. He's going to flick. For the match. Oh, he did it. <laughs> Holds his nerve. The short lift. Perry comes it's in for the kill, long. but he's pushed it long on the back line. It's 21 all. Will this ever end? More fast flat pushes. Perry pushes it through Nathan Moore and brings up their third match point opportunity. 22-21. Oh, he's put it in the net again. The tension is unreal. Everybody on the edge of their seats. You know, there's a huge... You can get two clear points fairly comfortably earlier on in the game, but at 20 all, it's a totally different game trying to get two. That's a big one. Another match point opportunity in favour of the pair in green and gold. David Hong to serve. Flicks. Some fast flat pushes. And the kill from Nathan Moore. Neither pair is going to want to give this one up. I so think this much is huge. bottle from both pairs. No one quite able to get over the line. This is a good rally. Oh, oh and word. just missing and on the net cord. The tape, topples back on the green and gold side. And this brings up the first match point opportunity in favour of Loughborough. 24-23. Nathan Moore with the serve. Oh, and he's, he's hit the net cord on the reply of the serve which has skewed the trajectory of the shuttle 24 all you couldn't make this up <laughs> short left so many of these flat exchanges in these late stages of the game Outstanding defence oh, and the change of pace from Nathan Moore brings up another match point. This now the second match point for the Loughborough pair. I wonder if they'll take it to the uh, the limit of uh, 29. 30? Oh, you're absolutely right. Of course, <laughs> whatever it the is, the setting now. limit. If we reach a tie at 29 all, it will become sudden death, and the winner of that point. It's a big reach match. from Perry. And he, David Hong finds the space. Finds That's it, cool places it perfectly. It's 25 all. I, I can't quite believe what I'm seeing here. Yeah. So I think this is the fifth for Nottingham, is it? The fifth match point? Yeah, I think you're They've right. Saved, fourth or saved fifth. one and lost count had now. five. Oh, but Loughborough aren't and giving another, anything away. Another match point opportunity for Loughborough. 26-25. Nathan Moore with the serve. Perry returning once again. 
It's a great return of serve which gives Nottingham the attack. Strong defence but the short lift. Loughborough desperately trying to oh, counter-attack. Oh, it's caught the tape and dropped on the other side. On match point. 26 all. How on earth is this still going? You can see how Loughborough really trying not to let Dave and Perry maintain the attack. And instead of relifting, they're really trying to drive it, but it's difficult. Especially under the attack of under the attack of these two, because they don't be deceived by Dave's height. He jumps incredibly high and, and hit a very steep smash. It's not nice to be on the receiving end of that. And that's just gone. And long. the smash is long in the back line. And now Nottingham with a fifth match point opportunity. I've lost count. I think it might be six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. Oh, it's coming back. It's still... <laughs> and, and once again, Nathan Moore at the front of the court, cutting out every defensive shot under the sun, puts it on the floor. It's 27 all. Do you know what? We might think... genuinely reach 30-29 at this rate. I think Moore's shown real strength. He's, of course, he's shown strength all over the court, but in particular at the net in this game, I have to say. It's been extraordinary. And again, the anticipation from Perry. Reading the net shot so well, comes in with the kill. And that's the thing in doubles, you have to take advantage of the fact you can push in when you want to, and you can risk sometimes a little bit of anticipation there. Because Match. if you do get flicked over your head, your partner should be covering that, and that's the thing with these two, they Absolutely. work well together. They, they, they know, they trust each other implicitly. Match point number six for Nottingham, saved again by Nathan Moore at the front of the court. He's coming in with every kill. It's 28 all. Re return of Harry Huang. Come, not he doesn't want to miss any of the action. <laughs> Running across the camera there. That's a relentless attack from Perry and Dave. Now Nottingham have their the seventh, final chance. Their seventh match point opportunity. Final chance for a two clear win. I can't believe it. Couldn't have asked for more from this game. And he's done it! David Hong hits the winning it. smash to take the final set 30-28 <laughs> to finish off what has been an unbelievable day of badminton here at the Big Bucks Wednesday, powered by New Balance. What a match. There are almost as many points in this single game as there were in the entire match of Johnny Turgeson. Yeah. 58, so say 58 60 points, points there, and we had a 21, 11 and 13, or 11 and 15 with Johnny's uh, singles. Also oh, a little, not exactly the same, no. Felt like it. <laughs> what a day it has been. Thank you to anyone that uh, tuned in. All the very best.